Wouldn't it be nice if we made it a global crime to prohibit places that were trying to come up against people from selling them new weapons? So imagine, okay, for example, I'm going to use Uganda, okay, because they're obviously coming out to some type of political strife down there, and it's looking like it could spin out of control really fast. And now... Know that I only make like $20,000 a year. I don't have a lot of money and I can't actually do this stuff. So I'm just telling you what somebody could do with a lot of influence. Are you ready? Okay. So say I'm a multi-billion dollar investor. And I know that Uganda has X amount of Y that equals this amount of profit. But the government at this time won't allow me in. So the government has X amount of this here and this here. And all I have to do is sabotage these spots here and here and here. And pay off these guys to come through here. Get them a couple shipments of nice weapons from over here. Drop ship this over here. I'll overthrow the government. And the new government will guarantee me the rights to have the minerals over here. And to have the water over here to clean my minerals. <clears throat> the point there isn't the fact that somebody wants to um, take advantage of someone because a lot of people do in this world as mammals you do want to you know you, you have a tendency to take advantage of each other and that's a given but the one problem that I saw there was is that somehow some way some why while the world was trying to protect Uganda and protect it from falling, somebody was allowed to purchase brand new weapons and weaponry and give them to a group of people in order to attack. See, that's where the problem's coming in, is we're allowing mass production of weapons on behalf of the large organizations to create these wars. And if we stop the movement of the weapons into the hands, it's a lot easier to deal with the rebels if all they have is knives. Knives are still very dangerous. Knives are very dangerous. You give a hundred men a hundred knives and send them into a village of a hundred children and women, and you'll have a hundred dead bodies. But that's not the point here. The point is, is that when somebody wants something, all they have to do is give the right movement to it, and it can change it. And nobody wants to see the people of Uganda be running around and losing their government. But we would allow it because we allow for the mass production of weapons with the intent to murder people. Why else would we have so many weapons laying around? It's not like we're talking about tractors in a farm field or Toyotas in a parking lot. We're talking about things that have a trigger and a hammer that eject a piece of metal that enters into the front of someone's skull and exits out the back and leaves them unable to move because they have no ability to breathe.